Ankle Ligaments Injury Tests and Assessment The ligaments of the ankle are complex. Injury to these ligaments are called ankle sprains. A sprain of the ankle is usually a low ankle sprain. Occasionally, it can be a high ankle sprain. The sprain of the ankle can be confused with other conditions that can happen around the ankle, such as an osteochondral lesion, peroneal tendon subluxation, fracture of the lateral Taylor process, fracture of the anterior process of the calcaneus, or a high ankle sprain which is called syndesmodic injury. Here are the few tests that are used to check for injury of these ligaments. If the patient cannot bear weight on the ankle, the patient should get an x-ray of the ankle. Injury of the deltoid ligament occurs at the medial side of the ankle and it is usually associated with ankle fractures. Sometimes this injury of the deltoid ligament is occult and the patient may need stress x-rays to demonstrate injury of the deltoid ligament. Injury to the lateral side ligaments is referred to as a low ankle sprain. The anterior talofibular ligament is the weakest ligament on the lateral side. The anterior draw test is done to test the competency of the anterior talofibular ligament. The test is done in 20 degree of plantar flexion and always compare it to the other side. A shift of an absolute value of 9 mm on the lateral x-ray or 5 mm compared to the other side is positive. The calcaneofibular ligament is usually injured after the anterior telofibular ligament. The test used to diagnose injury of the calcaneofibular ligament is called the Taylor tilt test or the inversion test. Less than 5 degrees of tilt is usually normal. The final area of injury is called a high ankle sprain or injury to the syndesmosis. Contrary to low ankle sprain, a high ankle sprain may require surgery. This is how injury to the syndesmosis occurs. Always check the fibula proximally to avoid missing a mesonave fracture. The mesonave fracture will have a proximal fibular fracture, a syndesmotic injury, and a deltoid ligament injury, and it will need surgery. Here are the tests that are used to diagnose high ankle sprain. The squeeze test and the external rotation stress test. How do you do the squeeze test? Squeeze the tibia and the fibula at mid-calf. It will cause pain at the syndesmosis if high ankle sprain is present. The external rotation stress test is the other test that is used to diagnose high ankle sprain or injury of the syndesmosis. How do you perform the test? First, place the ankle into a neutral position, apply external rotation stress, and finally, get a mortise view radiograph. There is a positive result 
for syndesmotic injury if the tibiofibular clear space is more than 5 mm or if the medial clear space widening is more than 4 mm. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.